Here's a Toyota Tundra. Did the front differential in it. Um, what I did is I marked both tires at approximately 6 o'clock. I started at that end of the parking lot. Uh, typically when we have a differential failure, transfer case failure, it can be attributed to some kind of uh, situation that causes it. A uh, big example of this would be uh, tire size discrepancy. Um, this tire was also at 6 o'clock. You can see that there's, it's from here, okay, all the way up to here. So this, uh, this rear tire is significantly different in terms of size to the front tire that could have been and is the likely cause factor for the, the, uh, the failure of the front diff. In addition, when I went to release it from four-wheel drive, there was a tremendous clunking that took place. This clunking is because anytime you have dissimilar circumference in the tires, uh, it's creating a tremendous load and strain on both the transfer case and the, uh, the differentials, driveline components, uh, also drive shafts, etc. So um, these, this issue should probably be resolved. And the only time I recommend using four-wheel drive in this application with these, with these tire size uh, discrepancies would be if it's very, very slippery.